All right, we are working with traditional long division. We have our long division family here to help us remember all of our steps. We have dad, mom, sister, brother, Rover, and Coco. So dad tells us to divide, mom tells us to multiply, sister tells us to subtract, brother tells us to bring down, Rover, the family dog, tells us to do it all over again, repeat it, and then Coco, the bossy cat, of course, tells us at the very end to go back and check our answer. So here we go. Today, we're going to need a pencil, of course, and we've got six different colored markers to just set up our notes today. So go snag those supplies and we will get started. All right, so I'm gonna grab our first color. We've got dad that tells us to divide, mom that tells us to multiply, sister that tells us to subtract, brother that tells us to bring down our next number, rover that says repeat all of that, and then Coco that reminds us to check our answer at the very end. All right, so I'm gonna utilize this. We've got our problem down here, 225 divided by three. We've got 225 in the division box and three at the door. So I like to encourage you guys to utilize your magic Harry Potter wand fingers as we start this. So take your index finger, your magic Harry Potter wand, and cover up everything except the first number. And we start with dad. Dad tells us to divide. Three goes into two, how many times? Zero. Our answer goes up top. And then we have mom that tells us to multiply. So I'm gonna put a little multiplication symbol there. Zero times three is zero. Sister tells us to subtract. So two minus zero is two. Brother that tells us to bring down just our next number. So there we go with 22. And then we've got Rover, family dog, that says, all right, now repeat all of that again, starting back at the top with dad. So now we've got dad tells us to divide. Three goes into 22, how many times? Three goes into 22, seven times. Our answer goes up top. Mom tells us to multiply. Seven times three is 21. Sister tells us to subtract. 22 minus 21 gives us one. Brother tells us to bring down that next number, that five. And then Rover says, okay, repeat all of that all over again. So back up top. Dad tells us to divide. Three goes into 15, how many times? Five. Mom tells us to multiply. Five times three is 15. Sister tells us to subtract, and look at that. We don't have anything left over. And then we can't forget Coco, our bossy cat, of course, that reminds us to check our answer. So we're gonna take 75, our answer, times three. We're gonna multiply it and see if we end up back with 225. Three times five is 15, carry the one, Three times seven is 21, plus one gives us 22. So it looks like we are set and our answer is 75. All right, now we're gonna do all of that without all of these markers. So what's it like to do it in real life, right? Okay, so let's take a peek at our practice problems over here to this side. I'm gonna grab my pencil. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is jot down my little acronym for my division family. So I might just do dad, mom, sister, brother, Rover, and Coco. And I might do the little symbols for what they actually tell us to do. Rover tells us to repeat and Coco tells us to check. All right, now I'm gonna set up my problem. I've got 435 in the box and five outside. I'm gonna take my magic Harry Potter wand of a finger and cover up everything except the first number and go through my steps. 
Dad tells us to divide. Five goes into four, zero times. Mom tells us to multiply. Zero times five is zero. Sister tells us to subtract. Brother tells us to bring down just our next number. And Rover says, repeat all of that again. So back up top, five goes into 43, eight times. Mom tells us to multiply, eight times five is 40. Sister tells us to subtract, 43 minus 40 is three. Brother tells us to bring down our next number. And Rover tells us to repeat it all over again, back up top. Five goes into 35, seven times. Mom tells us to multiply. Seven times five is 35. And sister tells us to subtract. We don't have anything left over. So let's check our answer. 87 times five. Seven times five is 35. Carry the three. Eight times five is 40 plus three gives us. All right, we're looking good. Our answer is 87. Seven. All right, let's take a look at our next problem. It has a slash, but we know that the slash mark is just another way to show division. So I'm gonna set up my box. 516 divided by three. Now you can jot down dad, mom, sister, brother, rover, Coco. I'm just gonna reuse the one we have up here. Some kiddos like to write it on a post-it or a note card and just have it at their desk and just follow it along um, as they go for any problem they might come across. I'm just gonna use this since it's here. All right, take your magic Harry Potter wand of a finger, cover up everything except the first number, and we start. Dad tells us to divide. Three goes into five one time, and our answer goes up top. Mom tells us to multiply. One times three is three. Sister tells us to subtract. Five minus three is two. Brother tells us to bring down, and Rover tells us to repeat it all over again. So back up top. Dad tells us to divide. Three goes into 21 seven times. Mom tells us to multiply. Seven times three is 21. Sister tells us to subtract. Woohoo, we don't have any leftovers. Are we done? Er, we're not done because we still have brother reminding us we need to bring down whatever numbers we have left. And then we've got Rover telling us start back over. So dad tells us to divide. Three goes into six, two times. Mom tells us to multiply. Two times three is six. Sister tells us to subtract and we don't have any leftovers. And we can check our answer, right? Coco always reminds us to check that bossy cat. 172 times three. Three times two is six. Three times seven is 21, carry the one. Three times one is five, plus two gives us, or three times, sorry, three times one is three, plus two gives us that five. Got a little ahead there. All right, so we know we're setting nice, sitting nice, 172 looks to be a good answer. All right, then we've got our last problem. 425 over five. It looks like we have a fraction, but we know that the fraction bar means to divide. And we also know that the top dog goes in the house. Whatever number is on top goes inside our division box. It doesn't matter if it's the biggest number or the smallest number, it's whatever number goes on top. So if we think about it like dogs, uh, I know that we had a Pomeranian and a pit bull. Pomeranian was super little and was totally the boss in our house, um, was totally the top dog in our house, even though it was way smaller of our two dogs. So it doesn't matter if the number is bigger or smaller, whatever number goes on top goes inside the box. All right, so same thing. Dad, mom, sister, brother, Rover and Coco. Take your finger, cover up everything except the first number, and here we go. Dad tells us to divide. Five goes into four, zero times. Mom tells us to multiply. Zero times five is zero. Sister tells us to subtract. Brother tells us to bring it down. 
And Rover says, repeat it all over again. So back up top, dad tells us to divide. Five goes into 42, eight times. Eight times five is 40. Sister tells us to subtract. And brother tells us to bring it down. And then we've got Rover saying, repeat it all over. So five goes into 25, five times. Mom tells us to multiply. Five times five is 25. And we subtract and we don't have anything left over. Do a quick check. 85 times five, five, two, 425. Awesome. Our answer is 85. Beautiful. All right, now one last little nugget. If your work tends to get a little sloppy, you might use notebook paper, our best friend in math. But just like with multiplication, instead of using it like a normal sheet of notebook paper, you might just turn it sideways so that you can use the columns to set up your problem. So if we had something like 386 divided by two, every number is in its own column. And we do the same thing. Two goes into three once. One times two is two, subtract. Brother tells us to bring it down. Rover tells us to repeat. Two goes into 18 nine times. My answer goes up top and notice how my nine is right above my eight, keeping everything nice and organized in those columns. Nine times two is 18. Sister tells us to subtract. We have no remainder, but brother tells us don't stop. We need to bring all our numbers down. Two goes into six, three times. Three times two is six, and we are set. All right, so there are your nuggets for today for long division. Utilize your long division family. Jot down dad, mom, sister, brother, rover, Coco, and use it like a checklist. Some kids will write in a post-it or a note card and just reuse that same card, that's awesome. Or take your sheet of notebook paper and just turn it sideways to help with organization and keeping your work neat. All right, there we go, traditional long division.